Think you're too young to start building wealth? Think again. It's a common misconception that wealth building is a game for the old and experienced. But let me tell you, your 20s are not just for wild adventures and making memories. They're also the perfect time to lay a solid financial foundation. The power of compound interest is not a myth, it's a mathematical marvel, and starting early can make a significant difference in the long run. So, are you ready to take your first steps towards growing your wealth? Let's dive in. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to managing your money. And let's face it, who doesn't want to be a money superhero, right? Well, the first step to becoming one is financial education. It's like the spinach to your, the sunlight to your Superman. There's a wealth of resources out there just waiting to turn you into a financial whiz. Books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad or The Total Money Makeover can give you a head start. Blogs such as Mr. Money Mustache or The Simple Dollar offer great insights too. Podcasts? Try The Dave Ramsey Show or Planet Money and there are even courses. Websites like Coursera or Khan Academy offer free or low-cost courses on personal finance. No matter the medium, the key is to soak up as much knowledge as you can. Remember, the more you know the better decisions you can make. So, let's get learning, shall we? Also, if you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more financial tips. Ever dream of buying a house? Or retiring early? It all starts with setting clear financial goals. Now you might ask, what's a clear financial goal? Enter SMART goals. No, not the adjective, but the acronym that stands for Specific, Measurable, Achievable, Relevant, Time-Bound. Let's break that down. Specific means your goal is well-defined. I want to save money isn't specific. I want to save a hundred grand for a down payment on a house, now that's specific. Measurable means you can track your progress. Achievable keeps you grounded in reality. Relevant ensures your goal aligns with your broader financial plan. And time-bound? That sets a deadline. Picture this. You're on a road trip. Without a destination and a map, you're just driving aimlessly. Your smart financial goals are your destination and your map. They guide your investment and saving decisions, steering you towards your financial dreams. With clear goals in mind, you're ready to take control of your financial future. Ever wondered where all your money goes each month? It's like a magic trick, isn't it? One moment you've got a paycheck and the next, it's vanished. Well, my friends, the key to solving this mystery is budgeting. Yes, budgeting. The superhero of personal finance. It's about understanding your income and expenses, knowing where every dime goes. Think of budgeting as your financial GPS. You wouldn't start a road trip without a map, would you? Having a budget gives you a clear picture of your financial situation. It's about setting up spending categories, allocating funds to each and sticking to it. It's not about depriving yourself but about making informed decisions. Remember, the goal is to spend less than you earn. Sounds simple, right? But it's a game changer. Start by tracking your expenses for a month or two, see where your money goes, then create a realistic budget. A budget is more than just numbers on a page, it's a roadmap to financial freedom. Life is full of surprises and not all of them are pleasant. That's where an emergency fund comes in. Imagine it as your financial safety net, a buffer between you and life's unexpected curveballs. Whether it's a sudden job loss, an unforeseen medical expense or that car repair that came out of nowhere. Now how much should be in your safety net? A good rule of thumb is to aim for three to six months worth of living expenses. Yes, it may sound like a lot, but remember, it's not money you're spending, it's money you're saving, money that's there to catch you when you fall. Building an emergency fund may seem daunting, but it's doable. Start small, save consistently, and before you know it, you'll have a solid safety net in place. So when life decides to surprise you, you can say, nice try, but I'm prepared. An emergency fund isn't an option, it's a necessity. Ever heard the saying, don't work for money, make your money work for you? Well, it's not just a catchy phrase, it's a fundamental principle of investing. Now I know what you're thinking, investing? Isn't that just for Wall Street wizards and monocle-wearing tycoons? Absolutely not. Investing is for everyone, and the sooner you start, the better. Imagine you're planting a tree. The earlier you plant the seed, the more time it has to grow, right? The same concept applies to investing. The sooner you invest, the more time your money has to grow. This is what we call compound interest or as I like to refer to it, money-making babies. It's the process where your earnings generate even more earnings, creating a snowball effect. And don't worry, you don't need a fortune to start investing. With a variety of investment options available today, you can start with as little or as much as you're comfortable with. Ever heard of stocks and bonds? 
They're just two of the many investment vehicles you can use to grow your wealth. Stocks represent a share in a company, while bonds are essentially loans you give to a company or the government, who then pay you back with interest. Then there are mutual funds, index funds and exchange traded funds, which allow you to spread your investment across multiple stocks or bonds, reducing your risk. It's like getting a sample platter at a restaurant. You get a taste of everything. And let's not forget about your employer-sponsored retirement account. If your employer offers a 401k match, that's free money you're leaving on the table if you don't take advantage of it. Investing may seem intimidating at first, but remember, every expert was once a beginner. Educate yourself, start small, and stay consistent. And remember, the goal is not to get rich quick, but to build wealth over time. Investing isn't just for the wealthy, it's a tool everyone can use to build wealth. Debt can be a tool, but it can also be a trap. Picture this. You're in a boat, and every debt you take is like a hole in the hull. A manageable amount of water or debt can be bailed out, but too many holes and you're sinking fast. Now let's talk strategies for keeping the water level low. First, prioritize your debts. High interest debts like credit cards should be your first target. Why? Because they grow faster and can quickly get out of hand. It's like plugging the biggest hole in your boat first. Second, consider debt consolidation. It's like trading several small holes for one manageable one. This could lower your interest rate and make payments more manageable. And here's a golden nugget. Avoid unnecessary debt. Resist the temptation to finance every purchase. It may seem like a good idea at the time, but remember, every hole in the boat makes it harder to stay afloat. Remember, not all debt is bad, but managing it wisely is key to financial health. Ever heard of keeping up with the Joneses? It's a surefire way to sabotage your wealth building efforts. Now let's get this straight. Living below your means doesn't mean you're scrimping on every penny, it means you're choosing financial freedom over temporary pleasures. It's about resisting that urge to upgrade your car just because your neighbor did, or book that expensive vacation just to post some Instagram-worthy shots. Discretionary spending or spending on non-essential items can be a major roadblock to long-term wealth building. Sure, that designer bag or the latest gaming console might feel great now, but think about how much that money could grow if invested wisely. Remember, it's not about how much you earn, but how much you keep and grow. So, next time you're about to swipe that card, ask yourself, do I really need this? Living below your means isn't about deprivation, it's about financial independence. Building wealth isn't a set it and forget it endeavor. It's a journey that demands regular check-ins on your financial fitness. Think of it like going to the gym for your money. You wouldn't expect to get fit with one workout and then never go back, would you? In the same way your financial plan needs regular review and adjustment. Life happens, circumstances change, you might get a new job with a higher salary, or maybe you decide to go back to school. Perhaps you've just had a baby or you're planning a big move. Whatever it is, your financial strategy should be flexible enough to accommodate these changes. So don't be afraid to revisit your budget, reevaluate your investments, and reassess your financial goals. Take a step back, look at the big picture, and ask yourself, is my money working towards my current goals? Remember, the path to wealth isn't a straight line. Be prepared to adjust your course as needed. Building wealth in your 20s isn't just about the money, it's about crafting a life of options, freedom, and peace of mind. The magic lies in starting early, sprinkling in consistency, and staying informed. Remember, every dollar you save or invest is a step towards a future where you call the shots. It's about realizing that the finest hourglass is your own. So let's flip it over and let the sands of wealth begin to stack up. So what are you waiting for? Start building your wealth today. If you found this video helpful, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe to channel for more wealth building tips.